Well, hi everyone. I'm Andy Asher. I'm editor at Bloomer Boomer. Now today we are taking and talking to a very accomplished, adventurous woman who's been a leader, a founder, an entrepreneur involved in lots of really fascinating endeavors. And now she is at a career point in her life. Well, it's, uh, you know, when many of us are looking at the possibility of heading into a new direction or asking really some fundamental questions about, uh, you know, what's, what's going to be next for us. Her name is Serena Prabasi, and she is CEO of Water Aid America. Now, we're going to learn what that is all about and more about Serena and what she does in just a moment. Now, before that, I just want to Put in a plug for bloomerboomer.com where it updates with new material and ideas and, and news and some great discounts on products if you're looking for that. And it's all free to subscribe. There's also a YouTube channel you can subscribe to. We have a Facebook page, of course, live events around the country and a lot of other really, really cool things. So check us out if you haven't done so already. We'll be right back with Serena right after this. Well, our guest is uh, Serena Prabasi and she is CEO of Water Aid America. Serena, I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you know, I, we want to hear what you're doing, but you have such a varied background that we really should learn about you. I, I see here where you, uh, you graduated from high school in Kathmandu, Nepal, college here in the States. You worked in Ethiopia and co-founder of a coffee company. I think you can bring an interesting perspective to all of us. Um, I would love to hear uh, what's driven you to follow that particular path. You know, like everybody's path, some of it has been part of the plan and a lot of it has been unplanned and being uh, in front of the right opportunity at the right time. I feel very lucky that I've uh, had a life where I've managed to see a lot of the world, meet all kinds of interesting people. Um, and now here I am as CEO of WaterAid here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Obviously, in your life, you you seem to really have paved your own path. Uh, what do you feel you can share with others that you've learned from your adventures and your experiences and failures and accomplishments? Yeah, I think, you know, in terms of uh, my own path, it's been, uh, I think I've done the best when I have uh, gone out of my comfort zone, where I've tried something that either I thought was not very likely or kind of impossible and um and that's where that's where the most rewarding amazing professional and personal experiences have come from is is when i've stepped out of the usual comfort comfortable space yeah that's um, whether that's applying for this do. job when i applied for to be ceo of water aid that that was something that you know, was also was a, it was something that I was felt like I was stretching myself, and get it's been of, an amazing experience. Get out of when my comfort. husband and I started the coffee business that you mentioned. Uh -huh. That was also one of those. Um, it was just one of those moments where we said, "Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this." And, uh, <laughs> now that you're involved in in the important, you know, the um, really entangled, unknown world of water delivery in the U.S. and Latin America, tell us. Uh, you know, what brought you there in that particular specialty? Yeah, and it's it's really because uh, of this fact of how water connects to almost everything. So in earlier in my career, I had worked on education, I had worked on um, sort of economic productivity and uh, small businesses and other sort of community development. And when I came to water, I found all of that within this area. So, uh, you know, in the countries where WaterAid works, uh, kids are dropping out of school because the school doesn't have water and basic sanitation toilets that they can use. Yeah, no, uh, we, Girls we... are dropping out because when they hit adolescence, they can't manage uh, their period while they're at school. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, women are spending hours and hours collecting water, so they're not doing other things. They're not starting businesses, they're not, um, spending, you know, quality time with family or whatever they, they could be doing in addition to, you know, instead of the sort of drudgery of collecting water. So yeah, to me, it connected with every other issue that I had cared about. And I found that 
really it's it's a transformational thing. It sounds like it. What what exactly does the CEO of Water Aid America do? Well, this morning I was speaking with a pre-K class, as I said. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'm I'm meeting with uh, supporters, people who have decided to join us in this um, uh, to solve what is a you know it's a big problem, but it's a very solvable problem. And we're always constantly. A lot of my role is inviting people to join us on this journey. Well, let me to... first ask you this: um, mm -hmm. as far as people who are in their 60s and 70s and so on, are you indeed inviting them to get involved in or to uh, I mean, in a real way where it might re require travel or relocation, that type of thing? We, you know, we we have uh, a lot of different ways to get involved. A, a lot of times it's not actually by travel and relocation. Uh, it could be, you know, there are people who get involved by, uh, um, in all kinds of ways, by organizing events, talking to their friends, fundraising. They uh, write, uh, write uh, pieces in their local papers. You know, again, with the, with the people that WaterAid is working with, we work with, in the communities where we work, we work with people from all ages and all backgrounds and, and people's needs for water and sanitation, they really change as you know, you know, from sure. being a child to adolescence to later in life, uh, you're, you know, Im imagining that if your uh, setting involves having to carry water over distances or you don't have ready access to a bathroom that changes as we age and so the Im impact on us as well so we work with a lot of people in communities that are over 50 and their um their reality is changing as well you know the, the way that they may have managed water and sanitation earlier in their life is now uh, proving to be more challenging for them so is that in, 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 can you give an is that in this country would you give an example to that so um, most of our work our work in the US is mainly uh, talking to decision makers you know working with members of Congress and advocating for greater attention to water and sanitation. Here, or is this Latin America where you see this sort so of thing? So we, we work, you know, Water Aid works in Asia and Africa and Latin America. And we work uh, with the neediest of the communities, the ones that are really um, sort of being left behind, uh, people that are living in geographically very difficult areas, um, or people that are living in uh, drought prone or arid areas. So we are really focused on the most mar marginalized, the most vulnerable people on the planet. Uh, so it, it sounds like what you're interested in, maybe for our, from our audience, it sounds like, is people who uh, might want to get involved in some way, whether it's contributions or some other. Could you talk a little bit about that and where they could find out about it? Yes, um, most certainly the best place to start is our website, um, wateraid.org slash US. And uh, there are lots of different ideas. You can also learn about other supporters, what other people have done. People organize, you know, walks for water. People organize talks in their local community, um, depending on, you know, timing. You know, we have speakers, we have um, we have a lot of great content online. We have videos, photos that helps case studies, stories that help uh, people understand a bit more closely what problems that can seem quite far away from yeah. our day to day. Um, and then financial donations, of course. There's a there's a way to get involved that can be true to who you are and what your interests are, um, and to do it in a way that is uh, that is. Um, meaningful and uplifting and can be something that is interesting for you and your friends or your family to get involved in. Beautiful, beautiful. Serena, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I, I thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Our guest has been Serena Perbasi and she is CEO of Water Aid America. We'll be right back. Well, I uh, hope you like the show and uh, you can visit uh, bloomerboomer.com where uh, there are updates with new materials some news ideas and uh, great discounts on products and services. It's all free to subscribe. There's also our YouTube channel to subscribe to, our lively Facebook page, live events around the country, and a lot more and a lot of cool features. So check us out uh, if you haven't done so. Until next time, so long.